Hi and welcome to GFacts. Today I'm going to show you how to parse a JSON object in SQL Server. So let's begin. In front of me I have a JSON object which contains information about superheroes uh, like a squad, like members and a list of powers for each member. And we are going to store this JSON in a SQL table and we are going to extract some fields from here. So basically we are going to parse some JSON object and JSON arrays. I have added the JSON object in, in a SQL table and I've also added uh, another object which is not uh, correctly formatted. And the reason why I've added the, the second one is just to show you that uh, the first rule of every good uh, parsing strategy is to to validate that the data that you want to uh, to transform is uh, actually a json and that can be very easily achieved with a function provided by microsoft which is called is json so if i want to to remove this um, this row which is not correct then all i have to do is just provide a where condition with is json and this function takes as an input parameter the, the column and then this will return one for the first one and zero for the second one and by using this function i have removed the second one which is not correctly formatted so uh, remember always test that uh, the things that you want to pass are actually json otherwise uh, the SQL server will uh, throw errors. Okay, uh, in the right side is the same JSON that I have in here. So let's say we want to extract the, the squad name from, from this JSON. And uh, to do that, I have to, to use uh, another function with, which is called JSON value. So this is the command to extract the, the squad name from, from this uh, object and this function takes as an input parameter the, the column that I want uh, where the JSON objects are and then I need to to give the key for this object so in my situation will be the squad name and because this object doesn't have a key I need to put the dollar sign in front so if I will execute this as you can see I am getting the superhero uh, the superhero squad uh, from this object and a very important thing to remember here is that uh, the, the the keys are case sensitive so if you just change for example from to, to lowercase to uppercase you will have null value so just be careful with that okay uh, the next thing is uh, we need to extract the members and as you can see in here the members uh, is a list of objects and each object uh, each object represents a, a superhero so uh, if you want to to extract um, a list of objects then you have to do to use a cross apply um, and then an open json function so this is the command for that one Okay, so I have a cross apply. So I'm doing a cross apply with an open JSON function. So basically, my first uh, my table, which is uh, JSON two underscore two, uh, I will do a cross apply with an open JSON. So my table will be like an inner join with this object, and from this object, I want to extract only the members. So I will get only this part. Okay. So I get all the members and then um, in here I'm saying, okay, this is the alias that will be for uh, this node. So this node is from coming from here. Okay. So is the name of the member. And then uh, I need to provide uh, a data type for, for that one. Uh, very important. If you provide, uh, let's say an integer value for, for the name, it will throw an error. So just be careful when uh, you are uh, converting things from from strings to to actually data to actual data types. So if I will run this, everything will work correct. And if I want to extract the value, all I have to do is just 
put the, the table that I have and then let's say the I want the member name and if I will execute this as you can see I have all the members so if you want to extract uh, objects from a list all you have to do is create a cross apply then open JSON provide the column that you want and then from that uh, column uh, you, you are saying okay I want uh, from this object you want only the members so you're taking all the members and then uh, you can see this as a table definition so you want uh, this column and this column this will be the end result okay so uh, the next thing let's say that we want to extract is uh, the powers so let's say we want to extract uh, all the powers for all the members that we have and uh, to do that uh, all we have to do is just another cross apply so this is the command for that one okay so basically I'm doing a cross apply again with an open JSON and now I'm providing the uh, d d this uh, this column which is coming from which needs to come from here Okay, so what I'm doing in here, in, in the first table that I will extract, I will also extract the powers from here. Okay, and because I don't know how many powers will be in here, I'm converting this to uh, nvar char of max, and then I need to treat treat this um, this string as a JSON. If I will not put as JSON in here it will throw an error or I will have null values so uh, you will not be able to extract the values uh, from here okay so then uh, I'm creating a cross apply with this uh, member power that I'm extracting from the first uh, table and then I'm doing uh, I'm extracting the power names so I'm extracting these ones so these values and because this is just a list of strings when you when you have something like that you just have to put a dollar sign and if I will execute this one as you can see for uh, I don't have the name let's just add the power for that one so let's say power data dot uh, power name and as you can see I have the squad I have the member and I have uh, the the power for every member Okay, so there are key things to remember in here when you are dealing with JSON. Always test that the things that you uh, want to parse are actually a JSON. Then if you want to parse uh, objects, a list of objects, you have to do something like this. Okay, like we have in here. And if you want to parse um, just an array of strings or uh, integer values, you will have to do something like this. Okay, and very important, uh, if you have nested objects like we have in here with the powers, so we have the members, then we have the powers, and it, it can be nested uh, multiple uh, levels, you have uh, to put as JSON at the end of the, on, on the end of the, this column uh, definition. Otherwise, uh, this will be treated just as a string and even if you provide this column in here, it will, it will not work because it is not seen as a JSON. So that's everything that you, you need for parsing JSON objects in a SQL Server. Uh, I hope you like this video and I hope it was helpful to you and let me know what you think in the comment section below. See you next time. Bye.